Hello folks, I have another expansion board for the microbit. Again, this is a microbit, it's a little microcontroller. It does wonderful things, easy to, easy to code, but you can only get at three pins plus three volts and ground. If you want to get use more of the pins, and all of these little pieces here are pins, you need another board, an extension board to get at all of them, and that's what this expansion board, extension board, whatever you want to call it, um, does. It has pulled out all of the pins so that they are accessible to you. You plug the micro bit into the top thing there. Some of the things I like about this, one, the price, it's $7 uh, plus shipping. Uh, I got mine from Adafruit and uh, took the slowest shipping, so it was only 4 or $5 shipping. So if you get multiples of them, uh, the cost per would then obviously come down. It has its own little buzzer, so that's a speaker kind of thing, because um, you can code like piano notes and some sounds on the micro bit. It also has a switch to turn off the buzzer. In addition to its own little buzzer speaker, it's got a jack for like a headphone jack. Um, so you can w wire that out to its own, own little speaker, kind of like a you know, speaker like that kind of thing even. It uh, still gives you the easy access to the three pins plus voltage and ground. It has a USB input. And one of the good features I like about this is that it gives you some five volt pins. The micro bit is only three volts, only once three volts in, can only put three volts out, which works fine for most things. But like servos and some of the sensors that you're gonna to wanna to use eventually, they need a higher voltage. So that's what I like about this, is you have three five volt pins here for power. Uh, the power to supply five volts, I'm gonna go with your basic um, cell phone recharger kind of thing. Um, I got this for $15. I think I can get one a little bit smaller, uh, but it's still gonna be like $12. So it's not like half price to get half size. Um, it doesn't weigh very much, but comparatively it is bigger than you know the device we're using which that would be a drawback in some cases. Um, but they are five volt suppliers. All right, so we had three volts. We got the, the, the oh, and there's an on off switch for it because the micro bit doesn't come with an on off switch. You'd have to basically plug and unplug power, which um, is not really good. And on the back of it, they do a nice thing of um, silk screening what all the, the pins actually are to remind you like pin 11 is actually button B uh, pin 5 is actually button A some things are actually analog ins versus a digital input and um, I'll remind you uh, that pin 19 and 20 should only be used for um, I2C IIC I squared C whichever you want to refer to um, devices so you can only have one of those devices uh, plugged into this. That's what one of, like one of the sensors that you might use. So especially to expand some things to get some servos, make sure your LEDs are going to be powered, and you know a couple of uh, sensors that need the five volts. It's a nice little device, one of the many um, extension boards out there. So give it a try. I'll try some more things. It also comes with its own little cable which is neat. No, it didn't come with the cable. My power supply came with the cable. Strike that. So it doesn't come with the cable. But the power supply did, which is awesome. So I'm going to be putting some things onto this in the future. Thanks. Bye.